welcome to the first and hopefully not last profpilot.co.uk flight training video. I hate my own voice, so I am using this helpful American gentleman to do the narration on my behalf. Thanks, helpful American gentleman. This first video will be going over the basic features that exist on most aircraft, so this should be useful whether you are going to learn on one of those French Robin 200s, a Cessna 150, or even a B-52. The example aircraft I will mainly use in this video is a Piper Cherokee, just because I learned on this type, and it is quite a common training aircraft. Maybe you, too, will have the pleasure, thrill, and joy. So first things first. This, is an aeroplane. The main features on an aeroplane include the wings, which are one of the more important parts of a plane, the appanage, which is the whole of that back construction there, the fuselage which is where the cockpit is and where all the passengers and baggage live, and the engine compartment, which contains the engine. Looking at these sections in more detail, there are several parts to the wing. The part of the wing that attaches it to the rest of the aircraft is called the wing root. The opposite to the wing root is the wing tip which is at the tip of the wing. There is also the leading edge which is the very front of the wing, and the trailing edge, which is, you guessed it, the very back. We also have moving surfaces on the wing to help us control the plane. These are the ailerons, and they are usually situated on the outer part of the wing. More on these in a later video. In addition, the flaps, shown here on the wing, are used to help to create extra lift, and slow us down when we are coming in for landing, which is always helpful. To the appanage now. What thrill! The appanage is made up of the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer. Again, a thrilling installment awaits you in a later video regarding these, however, for the time being I will say that they help to keep the aircraft in control. If you did not have them, vomit churning madly around the cabin would be the least of your concerns, as you plunge towards the ground, in a wildly twisting fashion. The appanage is also made up of the rudder which controls the aircraft in yaw, and the elevators, which control the aircraft in pitch. The fuselage contains the cockpit, the seats and the baggage compartment. This front window is what you look out of to see where you are going. Here is you on your first lesson. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, you scared e cat. Don't be nervous. These other windows are for the passengers to gaze out of, and also for you the pilot to use when looking out to avoid other airborne traffic, which might be approaching, that could really ruin your day. On this aircraft there is only one door, on the other side of the fuselage, which is comforting. You get to it by climbing over the wing, which is always a very dignified process. Some aircraft have better systems of entry, others worse. Much worse. The engine is in the engine compartment, and in the aircraft you will be flying for your PPL, this will probably be a six-cylinder air-cooled engine. The propeller takes the power generated by the engine and uses it to push air backwards, and therefore pull the rest of the aircraft forwards. This triangular thing in front of the propeller is a spinner, which is a fairing fitted over the hub of the propeller to help make everything more aerodynamic and save you from shrivelly wallet syndrome, at least a little bit. Another quite heavy thing to have on an aircraft is landing gear, and these are the wheels on the aircraft. In this drawing they are covered in those red fairings to help make them more aerodynamic and save some fuel and money. These do have the annoying side effect of getting filled with grass, soil, and occasionally small animals, so your aircraft may just have the naked landing gear, like this. So, that is the Cherokee described. It is a low-wing aircraft, which means the wings are attached to the lower portion of fuselage. It also has a low tailplane meaning the horizontal stabilizer is attached to the lower part of the appanage, and a tricycle undercarriage, meaning it has a nose wheel. You can also get high-wing aircraft though, like the Cessna. As you can see from my masterful artistic ability, the wings are attached to the top of the fuselage. The Siak is sporting the attractive mid-winged look, called such because the wing is in the middle of the fuselage. In both cases, the structure of the wings are fundamentally the same in that they have wing roots, wing tips, ailerons and flaps etc. High tailplane aircraft look like this, 
so you should be able to guess why they are also known as T-tail aircraft. Again it still has a vertical stabilizer, elevators, rudders and the like, it is just the positioning of the horizontal stabilizer that is different. This is an example of a tail dragger aircraft. As you can it rests on its tail as opposed to its nose. Hopefully this explains the fundamentals of an aircraft for you. If your instructor tells you something different, do what they say. I take no responsibility if something untoward happens. Next video will be showing how an aircraft creates lift, and how this is utilized to control the aircraft in pitch, roll, and yaw. If you have started training already please go to www.profpilot.co.uk and have a perusal, maybe leave a review for your flight school, or post in our forum. Thanks.